couldn't stay away, so we're back at Josie Hub to meet up with brothers Andrew and Tula Cesar Similani from Black Nation Media. Let's go see what the buzz is all about. Matsalani, we all have those moments where embarrassing tweaks happen to the best of us. How can we do away with it? Well, fortunately, Deneen, there's a way to deal with it. Mm. There's a site that I prefer and use. It's called tweetdeleter.com. Mm. And I find that because it's, you can use it at no cost, it's free. So there's a premium option that you can pay for, but it's cost effective and there's a way to delete though, all of those tweets that embarrass you and that you know you might regret later mm. on. Yeah. Now, I want to know the difference between the free one, that's Mahala, and the premium. What are the differences? Well, the free one you can use to delete about 100 tweets per day, whereas on the premium package, you're paying about 180 rands to delete more than 100 tweets a day. And you also have other options of searching tweets via keywords as well as mass deleting. So you could delete all of your tweets and start all over again. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, wonderful. <gasps> Yo, what up? It's tall ass mom, and you're watching Black Nation TV, boy. That's where the highest street fashion hoodlum style is at. where you're the creative director behind Black Nation Media. You have five platforms on a daily basis to man and look after. What does it entail? On Mondays, we've got Prime Obsession. The show is more about interior design fused with fashion. They actually like graduates from interior, but they're more into fashion, so we try to collaborate the two. Yeah, then on Tuesdays, we've got Fastness. It's more of the lifestyle, generally, about what young people get up to in Johannesburg. Is then on Wednesday, we've got Sync and Tune. It's more of like the music. We focus on a young upcoming artist in South Africa. On Thursdays, we've got Black Nation Journal, which is document whatever is happening during that month, or whoever is in our cover magazine in that month. Then on Friday is Black Nation Update. We have like relevant stuff, maybe an event that was happening during that week. We go document that, then come back at the office, edit and put it out online. What excites you creatively about this content and actually growing it throughout Africa? It's telling our stories as young people, our daily stories, who we are and what we stand for and where we're going, you know. Ten years from now, Africa and technology, what would you want to see come from us? I grew up in a township, so like my vision is to I want those kids from the township to have an access in what we do so that we can motivate them, we can inspire them, and we can do like more of collaborations and they can see the, sto the stories we're trying to tell. Because right now we're in a situation where only people from the urban can access what we do or people from the offices, you know. Like a kid from township can't like spend his or her data just to watch our content because they still need to make calls, you know. And in Africa, I see us collaborating with other countries, you know. The young kids from Angola, Mozambique, Ghana, and even us traveling those countries, exchanging content, exchanging ideas. And like just to have an easy access of information when it comes to technology, you know. Like, Internet mustn't be a problem, yeah. Well, cheers to more creative stories, more content, and more collaboration. Hey, what's up? This is Irish TC. Shout out to Black Nation TV. We've been trying to be here, man. Like, finally, you guys put us on. That's what's up. This is Mpoma Kua, representing the Starlet Gang, and you're tuned into Black Nation TV. Shout out. I'm catching up with Andrew, who is the company director for Black Nation Media. Now, Andrew, before it was all about location, location, location. Yeah. Now I feel it's all about content, content, content. What is Black Nation Media? 100%. Well, Black Nation Media is a digital publishing agency. Uh, we publish uh, daily content on YouTube, and we also have a digital magazine. What I can say is that we aim to build the biggest platform in Africa. We just want to have a lot of channels on YouTube and use 
use YouTube as a distribution platform and obviously monetize all the content that we put on the platform. So I know that YouTube is introducing a new uh, sort of like revenue, you know, stream so people actually can start subscribing for the content that we create for them and there won't be any adverts, you know, in, you know, in the videos that we create, which is also fantastic. So now we have two revenue streams from YouTube, which is a great thing. Where did it all start for you? Well, it started back in 20, it was in 2010 when we wanted to develop content for students across the country. Uh, that plan didn't work out so well, so then we tried it again in 2011, that's when we started our YouTube channel and we just kept on producing content. Uh, at the beginning it was predominantly video content, but you know, as the company you know, started growing, uh, we started focusing on reads and articles as well and that's when we came about producing the bi-monthly magazine that we do, yeah. I think with social media and yeah. online platforms, there's yeah. so much pressure to tell people stories, push out content, make content. Are we all content creators? Yeah. What does it define us to yeah. you? For us, content varies. Uh, we, you know, we've got a specific target market. We want to reach out to, you know, kids between the ages of 16 and 35, for young people between the ages of 16 and 35 in the townships as well as, you know, in the city or urban areas. But, you know, the focus with content is that we create content for brands. For example, we do a lookbook and also involve brands like Adidas and everybody else in that. That's content for us. And there's also a different part where we get to tell stories of young people in the country. And that's how the brands and young people, you know, get to meet within our platforms, uh, be it the digital magazine that we produce or the YouTube channel that we create. Now we've done some digging yeah. and we we found that you mentioned collaboration versus competition yeah. is really the better way to go and there's power in numbers. Yeah. Why do you feel so strongly about it? I mean, one, it's, it's quite difficult. I mean, we've been involved in the digital space for some time now and it's quite difficult for, for us to do audience development. And if we can just bring together our resources and, and try to work together as a team, I think we can have a reach to a lot more than what we have at the moment. Hence, we say collaboration is important in that sense. So if we can all come together, we can be able to reach out to a much bigger number of, of people using, you know, the, for example, right now we have about 500 subscribers on YouTube and it's growing on a daily basis. That's difficult and compared to YouTube, I mean, there's about more than a billion people going to YouTube on a daily basis. And we want to reach out to that market. We want to reach out to all the young people in Africa. So we need to connect with other young people in Ghana, in Kenya, in Nigeria, so that our platforms can grow, so that our message can be spread across you know, the continent. Now, Andrew, just a few minutes with you, and no doubt you're sitting on a wealth of knowledge and experience. Yeah. How do you impart and share that? Uh, what we've done recently, we've invited, I think, about six interns to be part of the company. Uh, we've got you know, two interns that focus on, you know, shooting the episodes that we have and also editing the stuff. And we also have two interns that are writing for the website and for the monthly magazine. And we also have other two interns that work on graphics. So we've got senior staff members within the company that work closely with the interns that we have. So we basically take our experience because we all have like corporate experience. So we take that experience and we just impart it to the young people that are working with us. Well, thanks so much, Andrew. Here's to you, a mover and shaker. Speaking of which, off to see how Mover, the app, works and how it's going to shake up your daily commute. Before we get there, though, a review from Hypertext.